Hello and welcome to another Dragonstorm Studios video and one of a series I want to do uh, about uh, portraits regarding Magic the Gathering content creators. So for our first one, and this is a uh, part of a reveal series I want to do, uh, where I'm going to just talk a bit about uh, the, the piece of artwork once it revealed it, uh, who the artwork is of, uh, what might have inspired that, and uh, finally, hopefully, uh, one tip or trick for drawing at the end. So it kind of encompasses everything this channel is all about. So Merchant, in case you don't know, I'll leave a link below in the description uh, for his channel on YouTube, is um, a Magic the Gathering Arena content creator. He also, I believe, does work with Runeterra, and uh, he does Commander with some friends as well. So he's he's got his hands in lots of little pies, and it is great. He's a great uh, uh, entertainer. Uh, he's got some uh, some amazing one-liners and some really uh, incredible um, content. So please check him out. Um, and he also has a, a fabulous fabulous cat. This is Petra. Petra is beautiful. He, he, she used to chew his cords when she was a kitten and now she's all froofy and grown up. And uh, what inspired me to do this particular uh, drawing was a new card that came from Zendikar Rising called Attended Healer. And here it is. And I saw this picture and despite the fact that it's a core cleric female, I thought I thought of Merchant and Petra and thought, wouldn't it be great if I created an image similar to this? I don't want to just take this image, slap Merchant's face on it, maybe make it a bit more masculine and then call it mine. Uh, so I've done my own, my own thing with it. So without further ado, this is the artwork, the piece itself. There's Merchant, there's Petra, and they are in Zendikar. Uh, there's a hedron up top there, which you can just kind of make out. And there is the good boy and the good kitten. And they are running into battle uh, as a team to take on all sorts of nefarious foes. Um, pros. I like the detail. I like the work in the armor that and how it turned out. I like a lot of the, the, the poses, the hands, the kitten, the floating island. It looks, uh, those part look, parts look good. What I'm not keen on is how the face kind of looks photoshopped onto the body. And try as I may, and you might be able to tell here and there, through some of the erasing attempts that it it didn't it didn't ever quite quite turn out uh naturally looking so I, I need to work on that but on the whole i'm fairly happy with that um without a doubt there are there are other improvements here and there the background is a little bit boring i think but i was working so long on the body and face and trying to make them jive together that i i kind of I think the artist has a right to give up a little bit on a picture if it reaches a certain point, and I hit that point. Um, what I do want to do is take a moment to talk a bit about clouds, since this channel also has to do with art and creation of art. I thought, you know what, let's finish up this drawing by talking a bit about clouds. I'm going to put a big fluffy one over here. There's a bit of a blank space between the floating island and merchant's shoulder armor of doom. So I'm just going to take a pencil. HB regular, I'm going to take a pencil sharpener and I'm just going to sharpen my pencil over the paper and it's going to create uh, some little filings, some little bits of graphite on the paper. And that's okay. This is going to give us a base for our cloud. So there's a bunch of filings. I'm not, I'm trying not to get the actual wooden part there into the paper. I'm going to take my thumb my best art tool there is. And I'm just going to drag those filings to the bottom because clouds tend to be flat on the bottom. I don't know why. I am no meteorologist. I'm sure I'm a meteorologist if you no one could tell you why they appear flatter on the bottom. I suspect it's a perspective thing. We're, we're low. They're high. And I'm just going to make them kind of circular on top. I'm just going to kind of use my thumb to create circular patterns spread those filings and smudge up my paper on the top there behind that floating island. I'm going to block the excess filings 
that I don't need anymore. And it's kind of like a, a dark cloud right now. It's going to rain in the car, but I'm going to take my eraser, my trusty eraser, which is obviously seen better days. And I'm just going to, again, circular pattern. I'm just going to get rid of the tops of the cloud smudging. And that's going to create the floofiness of the tops of the clouds. And this is random. I, I don't have any rhyme or reason as to where these are going, but that is kind of taking on a more cloudy shape. Now, what we don't want to do with clouds is outline them because they're white. They have no outline around them, being not 100% solid. I guess they're not really solid at all, are they? They're more gaseous. And that creates a lovely cloud effect. I might touch up just here and there if I feel it's a bit too white, or if I need to get rid of some more of that darkness, I can kind of just skewed in there and extend the floofy cloud on top there. All right. And although I made it look simple with a bit of practice, you too can make beautiful cloud effects like that. I hope that you enjoyed the video, both the reveal of the piece of artwork as well as the technique and some of the chats behind the artwork itself. If you have questions or your own comments or things that you like or dislike about this drawing, things you might have done differently in terms of the position, the pose, the equipment, the shading, please feel free to leave those in the comments below. I'm very glad to read those over. Uh, do the YouTube thing. If you enjoyed the video, shoot me a like. Maybe share it with your friends if you think they would find that useful. And also subscribe if the content is to your liking and maybe you want some more. Thank you so much for your time. Have a wonderful day, everybody, and take care. Bye-bye.